getting ready to start some more body work on our 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, van's got close to 190,000 miles on it right now and we did some body work last winter and uh, that's holding up really nice. We've got a couple new areas that need some touch up and we're going to start with this door, bottom edge of the door. I think you can see I've got some bubbling starting right in here and as you can guess when you open the door and look inside I've got some rust starting right along that bottom edge so we're gonna go through and get that all cleaned up and as long as we're working we've got another spot on the back we'll walk around back here on the rear quarter. You can see we've got a little bit of bubbling right here and it's down into there. So I'm going to try to do that without uh, buying a patch panel. I think I'll probably be rusted through but we'll um, we'll see if we can do that with just making a little patch piece ourselves and put that in. So let's get uh, get some tools out and start working. Okay let's see what we got here. Yeah, typical it's gotten behind the paint but um, most of the metal it looks like it's still got solid metal to work with back here I gotta do some patching underneath but you can see if I let this go another winter this is gonna be a mess so I'll get in here with a angle grinder and we'll we'll clean this up so that's what we got there And this is the front door. That's not too bad. I think we'll sand that down and clean it up. But that I don't think I'm going to be breaking through on that. Let's see what we got on the other side. Yeah, I think same thing. We'll get that seam sealer out of there. I might get by without welding. On, at least on the door. We'll see. So let's get uh, let's get some tools and keep going. Yeah, there was moisture hiding behind that seam sealer, even beyond what we thought we saw. Pulling all that seam sealer out, that entire edge has has some surface rust going. And if you look at the seam sealer, you know this is this is what we saw on the outside nice and clean and this is what was on the back side so it's a good thing we took all that out so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little pressure blaster fired up and we're gonna we're gonna blast this and make sure we get every bit of rust out and then I might just be able to reseam seal this obviously prime it you know put some rust you know some pour 15 on it and uh, prime it and whatnot but I think I might just be able to reseam seal it and be good for another at least for the rest of the life of this van so uh, by catching it now before it rusted through is always a good thing so let's uh, let's get some tools out I think I'm going to take and get a angle grinder going on the front side of this make sure we got all the rust off of that and then uh, if I got to do any blasting I can do it all in one shot all right so we got our angle grinder nice abrasive on it we'll go ahead and we'll hit these spots and we'll hit these spots while we're there. Get those down to bare metal. There we go. Got that down to bare metal. Went a little bit beyond the rust area, so I know I'm back to clean metal. Same thing on this spot. So now we're going to go over to the rear quarter panel and we'll do the same to that. So we've ground this down, still got a little spot right in the center where it's probably going to break through, 
and then we got a little work to do on that inner lip. So I've isolated the area, now we'll come back with some media and we will media blast it. And do the same on this side. Just don't want to get stuff all over the place, so I'm going to tidy up that area and that area. See, just a few seconds to do that. Look at that. We got that all back down to bare metal. Any corrosion is gone. Otherwise, it would probably start rusting as soon as we put paint on it. And same thing on this side. So we got a little hole there. We'll figure out what we want to do with that. Maybe cut that out and just put a little piece of fresh steel in there. And same thing down here. We blasted that out. Got that cleaned up. So now we got to do inside of the door where all the seam sealer was. So we're working on the bottom edge of the door. We just masked everything off so we keep our mess to a minimum. So we'll go down here and we will blast all that rust out of there. Totally worth the effort. Look at that. We got all that rust gone. And the nice thing is there's no rust through on the panel at all. So that makes this side super, super easy to do. We're going to put a uh, rust conversion paint on there, and uh, that'll help seal it up. I'll put a fresh bead of seam sealer on it, and then we'll paint it. So it's, it's off and running. First, we're going to wipe everything down with a prep. That should get things nice and clean, get that dust off, get ready to put some Pour 15 on. Now we're going to take and give it a quick coat of Pour 15. This really does a nice job of sealing in any little bit of rust that's left and gets it flows in there and, and gets behind the surfaces and does a nice job keeping things from rusting again. So we'll coat everything with this and then we'll see how it looks. And now we've got the Pour 15 on. I used silver because that's what I had. Uh, it also comes in black, but uh, I just had a can of silver, so that's what I'm using. But look how nice that's coming out. All the rust is gone. We've now sealed it. Going to let that dry overnight. Same on the other side. Got these patches looking good. Looks like we're going to get by with just a touch of filler. Maybe just to fill in a couple of those little rust pits. And then we're sanding and painting. So this side... It's going to look good. And the nice thing is, again, we caught this before it rusted through, so we didn't have to do any major work. This side, you can see, I'm going to have some more work to do. I've put the Pour 15 in there, let it, you know, kind of get through everything. And I've put it on the under, underneath side. But we're going to have to come in here, and I'm going to probably cut that out and get back to solid metal and put a little patch in there. So we'll, we'll save that for tomorrow. But... Uh, for today, we're off to a good start. Okay, we're back with the angle grinder. And the goal is to cut out that bit of rust we have there and where it wraps around underneath. And I'm going to try to do that all in one piece. So I'm going to cut some out. We'll take a look and we'll start making a patch panel. So guess what caused our problem again? This is the second time I've had to deal with this. This, this sound deadening foam they shoot between the panels holds moisture and that's what caused this thing to rust. So I'm going to go in there, scrape out as much of that crud as I can, and then we'll cut a new piece of metal, weld it in, and off we go. So, yep, same problem as when we did the work uh, last year. So do some scraping, see what we got. There we go. Got all the spray foam pulled out of there. Uh, fortunately, the panel behind the outer panel is nice and solid, so I don't have any rust through there, and it's solid underneath as well. So I'm going to make a little, like, T-shaped piece. that will go from here and then flare out, and then we'll attach 
on the underside and I'll MIG weld that in and then we should be good and then just a little bit of body work um, just to smooth it out but um, again it's that doggone foam I, I hate that stuff and I'm guessing I'm probably going to have it bubbling other places because where it's on one side it's it's everywhere so again we're going to let this sit overnight dry nice and I'll cut the patch panel in the morning So I'm going to make a patch panel for this little spot right here and under here to catch catch this little bit. So it'd be nice if I had something with a radius on it that flipped up. And because I am a pack rat and I save stuff from previous repairs, I've got this remnant of a patch panel right here and it has a radius on it that's flipped over to a flat spot. And if I take that and flip it, the radius is just about just about right and it gives me a flat surface to cover that. So I'm going to trim off a chunk of this patch panel and see if that will cover my repair down here and my repair up here. So let's get that trimmed up. And there we go. We did some grinding, got around the edges pretty good. And once I clamp that, that baby's going to weld in just nice. And I'm going to have nice, thick, solid metal where we had that rust hole. So now I'm going to scuff up the back side, coat it with pour 15, let it dry, and then we'll start prepping things for welding. So we got the patch in place. Going to fire up the MIG welder. Do some tacks, and then we'll fill in. And we got a couple tacks in, and so we'll just keep on adding weld. So we had a couple more welds, ground things down a little bit, and we're getting close. Nice to be back to solid metal. So we'll do a little more touch up on this, but I think we're getting close. There we go. I like that. So I'm going to put just a touch more of 415 around the back side, and then we'll start priming, and I'll probably just put a little skim coat of filler on there just to level it up, but uh, yeah, that looks good. I'm just finishing up the touch up on the door. Everything's looking good there. I'm just getting some color on it. And what I did was had some custom paint mixed. This is Chrysler Cashmere Pearl. And I got this from Touch Up Direct. So um, color match looks really good. So we're going to let that coat dry. We'll put another coat on. Then we'll see what we want to do on the front side of the door. And give it just a skim coat of filler, just real light, just to cover the little imperfections. But that's going to look look really good. So we did the same thing to the door. There's one little spot. There's some pits, but we had sandblasted all the rust out. So we'll let this set up, and we'll sand it down. So finishing up the door, just put a little primer on it, sanded the little bit of filler, and so this is the first coat of primer. I put a couple on and then we're ready to shoot the paint. Now we got it in primer. We still got to do a little final sanding, but it's just about there. And we finished up the bottom edge of the door and came out just perfect. Color match was great. No more rust. So the door's done, still a little bit of work to do on the rear fender. Got it wet sanded, got it prepped, ready for uh, first top coat of paint. And there we go. Base coat, clear coat, looks decent. So with that, we're going to call this job done. Probably be a little more work next season. There's always new stuff popping up, but right now I think that'll get us through this winter. So hopefully that's the last body work we do till the snow flies.